Hi there, it's Dr. Porter from Wrinkle Free MD Meds Fun Wellness Clinic, and this is the month of May, which is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. That also happens to be the anniversary of my melanoma, which is diagnosed in 2001. So I always run a promotion on our Elta MD sunscreen because it's my favorite as a cancer survivor for lots of reasons. So it's a buy two, get one free promo this month. We get a lot of questions about the benefits of mineral sunscreens and the difference between the products. So this little video is just gonna kind of explain our, some of our favorite products and help you make your choice um, when you purchase. You can do that at shop.wrinklefreemedspa.com. So Danny, what would you say? Danny's my esthetician um, here, and why why do you recommend a mineral sunscreen over traditional sunscreens that I can buy at the drugstore, for example? Yeah, so there's definitely a difference between mineral physical SPF and chemical SPF, um, which is typically what you'll um, purchase over the counter. Uh, mineral SPF just sits on the surface and blocks the UV rays, so it's less sensitizing to the skin. You're going to get less exposure. Um, so always, always go with physical SPFs. Um, a few of my favorite ones, so what's nice, we have some tinted SPFs um, as well as non-tinted. So Elements is my absolute favorite. It's water resistant, it's got hyaluronic acid in there, um, so you're going to feel hydrated. It's very moisturizing, so I use this in the morning as my moisturizing sunscreen. Um, and then we have the non-tinted version, which is the Replenish, so also water resistant. Um, then we have our UV Clear, which is going to be more for acne prone and rosacea patients. Um, so it's going to help reduce that redness and inflammation. And then the daily is, uh, this one is going to be non-tinted. We have a non-tinted and a tinted version of the daily. Um, that also has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's going to moisturize the skin as well. Um, but it's going to be a little bit more of a lightweight sunscreen compared to the elements and replenish. I use the the, el the elements as my main for you know I don't wear yeah. makeup so that's all I wear so I'll yeah. show you and people get worried that oh that's the replenish people worry that they're it's gonna look weird but it doesn't really matter your skin tone they only come in one shade but it really rubs in and it you know it it doesn't smell like sunscreen it look like sunscreen um, I've tried BB creams in the past and I felt they were so heavy that I would dry my hair and my face would be all sweaty um, I like this one it lasts all day long. Mm -hmm. Um, but it doesn't make you look orange. I'm pretty fair and this, this works great. So that's my favorite one. And then of course we have the physical that uh, we recommend sometimes for people if they have a little bit lighter skin shade, it's actually a little bit lighter um, skin. And then also it's very safe for post-procedure skin. Um, so if you've just had an ablative laser, for example. So some people prefer that one over the elements. But I would say our most popular ones are the elements and probably the daily are, are, are more popular and then the clear if you've got acne prone skin but that one's a little bit lighter um, but they all come in one shade and then for the body you know there's a lot of different choices it just really depends on whether you want waterproof or you want a water resistant or whether you don't need that and then your delivery mechanism um, I would say my favorite is the arrow because I have little wiggle wiggle rat kids and so this is just sprays on so easy um, and you can see where it went and then it just rubs in and it completely almost disappears and it doesn't leave a residue at all. Um, I love it and this bottle lasts a long time. If you want to do it on the face, you just rub it on your hands and then you can rub it in the face. Um, they don't sting or burn when they get into little kids' eyes or mommy's eyes. <laughs> um, sport is just more uh, for a really, really active person if you're going to be out in the water. It leaves a little bit more of a, of a residue, I would say. Um, just it's, you can really, really see where it went. Um, but it's really highly, highly water resistant. Um, it's a bit of overkill, I think, unless you're going to do face on a little kid. Um, I like the arrows, my favorite. The spray um, is essentially the arrow just in a different can. And then the lotion and the shield are your basic, um, just huge bottles of non waterproof moisturizing sunscreen, mineral sunscreens with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And then the UV Pure stands out um, just because it is reef safe. So it is, has a little bit more, just they ha took a few of the additives out, the very few additives that Elsa already has, they're completely gone in this. So this is their reef safe sunscreen. So we sell that to people, not a lot of people going to Hawaii right now, but this is the one that you want to take for scuba diving. But if you have any questions, you know, we're here 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. Um, you can always reach out to us on social media um, if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help you with your purchase over the phone. And this is good through the end of May.